So she goes in with prayer and fasting to see her lover. I ona pristupa postu i molitvi prije odlaska svome mužu. Now, if I was in crisis, da sam ja u krizi, and I thought that somebody could help me, i da mislim da postoji neko ko mi može pomoći, I'd run to them and say, I need your help, I need your help. Da bi mu otrčao i rekao, treba mi tvoja pomoć, treba mi tvoja pomoć. Here's the problem. Mozi mi, evo problema. What does she do? Šta ona radi? She goes in without permission. Ona ulazi bez dozvole. And the king stands up. The Bible says. I kraj pismo kaže ustaje. Oh, Esther. Oh, Esther. He melts under her beauty. Istopi se pred njenom ljepotom. Do you realize that God has given you the privilege? Da li vi razumijete da vam je Bog dao privilegiju? Of affecting the emotions of His own heart. Da vi dotičete emocije njegovog srca. Tonight. Večeras, and tomorrow, sutra, and through the rest of your life, i do kraja vašeg života, you've been given the ability to give pleasure to God. Data vam je sposobnost da Bog uživa. Pleasure is an emotion. Uživanje je emocija. So he stands up. Zato on ustaje. This is all Esther. Kaže Esther. And then he reaches for the um, scepter. Scepter. I onda uzima scepter. Which he holds out to her to give her permission to come in. Ispruža prema njoj i koji označava dozvolu da može da mu pristupi. And he says, "What do you want?" I kaže, "Šta želiš?" You can have everything I have. Imaš sve što ja imam. And she says, "I ona kaže, I just want a night of love." Ja želim da večeras provedem večer s tobom. This is King's English. Okay, to me that sounds good. Wow, man, it does look just fine. Typical male. Pravi muškarac, da. And the second night. I drugo već. Šta mogu učiniti za to? Ona nije glupa. A ona ima cilj. Znam ja to. Želim još jednu noć ljubavi s tobom. I ona s toga se pre svega fokusira na intimnost. I s toga dolazi do zastupanja. So the church je nevjesta koja vapi svom ljubljenome. U ovoj crkvi, ako želite da zastupanje bude efektivno, prije svega nam je potrebno otkrivenje da nas Gospod ljubi i da smo mi njegovi miljenici. Možeš doći takvom Bogu sa pouzdanjem. He loves me. On me ljubi. My wife has no problem coming to me asking me for money to buy a new pair of shoes. Moja žena nema problem da dođe meni i da me zamoli da mi traži novac da kupi nove cipele. She kisses me first. Prvo me poljubi. And then she reaches round to my back pocket. A onda ruku stavi u moj zadnji džep. Not really. Pa ne baš tako. So. Dakle. I'm going to finish with this now. Završit ću sa ovim sada. The fourth characteristic of the forerunner. Četvrta karakteristika glasnika. Number one is a violent spirit. Prva je silovit duh. Number two was what? Druga je bila šta? Radikal. Radikal. Number three was what? Treći, treće je? Tender hearts. Nježno srce. Number four. Broj četiri. Is a passionate enjoyment of Jesus. Je strastveno uživanje u Isusu. Do you remember when John the Baptist was still in his mother's womb? Sjećate se kada je Ivan Krstitelj još uvijek bio utrovi svoje majke? His mother went down to meet Well, no, actually Mary went down to meet his mother. I onda je Marija odšla da posjeti Elizabetu, njegovu majku. So, so here's here's Mary. Tu je Marija. And and here's Elizabeth. I Elizabeta. Now Elizabeth is bigger than Mary. Sad je Elda Elizabeta ima veći stomak od Marije. And Mary goes down to meet Elizabeth. I Marija ode da posjeti Elizabetu. They both are pregnant with miracle babies. I obje su trudne sa čudesno začetim bebama. Luke chapter one. I u Luki jedan. As Mary greets Elizabeth. Kako Marija pozdravlja Elizabetu. Hi Elizabeth. Zdravo Elizabeta. Elizabeth says, oh, 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 I think my waters are broken. Oh, 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 the baby leaped in my womb. Beba je poskočila u moje utrobi. That's John the Baptist. To je Ivan Krstitelj. That's the forerunner. 
Oni glasni. Meeting Jesus. Već unaprijed se radio Jesus su susreće ga. I kaže da ona bila ispunjena Duhom Sveti. Because he heard Jesus in the womb. Čuje Isusa u utrobi. Hi Jesus! Hey, zdravo Isuse! I'm coming out before you! Ja ću izaći prije tebe. I'm going to prepare the way for you! Ja ću ti pripremiti put. To su stvari koje nisu zapisane baš u Luki, ali pretpostavim. So he came out first. Prvi je rođen. He started his ministry first. Prvi je započeo službu. He was baptized first. Prvi je kršten. And he was martyred first. I prvi je ubijen. He prepared the way. Ali je pripremio put. He was a foreigner. Bio je glasnik. But he passionately loved Jesus. Ali je strastveno ljubio Isus. Now in Luke chapter 3 verse 28 and verse 29. U Luke 3, 28 i 29. No, in John. Sorry, John chapter 3. Okay, Ivan 3, John 3:28. Ivan 3:28. John describes the nature of his relationship to Jesus. Ivan opisuje opisuje prirodu svog odnosa sa Isusom. He says, "I am a friend of the bridegroom." On kaže, ja sam ženikov prijatelj. So his relationship with Jesus, John describes as the forerunner. Isus, ovaj, Ivan kao glasnik opisuje svoj odnos sa Isusom It's like a bride and a bridegroom. Kao nevjesta i ženik. Hang in there, man. Muškarci, sačkajte. They hold the flower. Držite cijet u ruci. So the nature of a bride and a bridegroom's love is passionate. Priroda ljubavi između nevjeste i ženika je kakva? Strastvena. It's got many different facets to it. Ima mnogo različitih strana one of the facets of this love jedna od strana te ljubavi god offers this kind of love to you jeste da bog tu vrstu ljubavi nudi tebi christianity is about a supernatural impartation of the love of god in your heart kršćanstvo se tiče nadprirodne nadprirodnog usađivanja božje ljubavi u tvoje srce and there are, there are three illustrations in the song of songs which is the book about romance i Postoje tri primjera u pjesmi nad pjesmama koja je pjesma o ljubavi. The first one comes, he says, there's no sacrifice in love. Prva ilustracija kaže, nema žrtve u ljubavi. In chapter 8, verse 7. U osmom poglavlju, u sedmom stihu. It gives an illustration about a wealthy man who had a big house. Govori o bogatom čovjeku koji ima veliku kuću. And he sells the house. I prodaje kuću. And gives the money away. I daje novac. And then somebody comes to him and says, "Oh, how generous you are." I onda mu neko dolazi i kaže, "O, oh, kako si ti darežljiv." And he was angry. I on se naljuti. Don't, don't puff me up. Nemoj ti sad tu meni nešto With da odlaziš. Da me poštuješ. I did this for love. Ja sam to učinio iz ljubavi. Imagine my daughter had cancer. Recimo moja kći ima and, rak. And, and imagine we had a big house. I recimo da ja imam ogromnu kuću. And we sell the house and we pay for the surgery. I prodamo kuću i platimo za operaciju. And, and, and she from the cancer. I ona bude ozdravljenja. And then you come to me and you say, oh, how you know, wonderful you sacrificed all that money. Kako si ti dobar čovjek, sam taj novac si dao. I said, what you don't understand. This is normal. That was the sacrifice. Da razumiješ, to nije uopšte bila žrtva. And so there is a love that God offers us. Postoji dakle ljubav koju nam Bog nudi. And there's no sacrifice in it. I u njoj nema žrtve. How many times have you felt, oh, I've got to sacrifice to follow Jesus? Koliko se puta osjetio da kažeš, oh, moram žrtvovati da bi ljudi više reći again this morning. Opet jutro su crkvi. Oh, here we go. But it's a sacrifice, no? Ali gospod, evo, to je žrtva za te, evo vidiš. That's good. To je dobro. But there's a better way. Ali postoji bolji način. Imagine having a love. Zamisli da imaš ljubav. Well, it wasn't a sacrifice koja ne predstavlja žrtvu. Oh, yeah, no effort, u kojoj nema truda. Zato što si obuzet nečim većim. That's what I want. To je ono što ja želim. That is what God offers us. To je ono što Bog meni nudi. I teca. Now John had that love. Ivan je imao tu ljubav. John had that love. Ivan je imao tu ljubav. The second thing I find in Psalms is this. Drugi primjer u pjesmi na pjesmi je sljedeći. It comes in chapter 5 verse 8. U petom poglavi u osmom stihu. And here's the story. Evo priča. She was lying in bed. Ona leži u krevetu. And the lover came. I njen ljubljeni dolazi. Knocked on the door. Kuca na vrat. She said, oh, I'm tired. Ona kaže, oh, I'm just got into the bed. I've just had a shower. Samo što sam legla istoširila. I don't think I'm going to get up. Ne ustajem se. 
I said the lover goes away. И он да, не люби ни от лази. And then she suddenly realizes, oh, you're a fuck down. Wow, что с самуразом? So she runs to the door. И стучи на врата. And she puts her hand on the handle and she opens the door. Да, да, она кваку отвори. Не говори шене. And then she smells his perfume on her hand. Осети мирис негов парфема с кваки. Cuz that's what lovers did then. Я то ено што су другоници чинили тада. They left the scent there. Оставили су свој парфем. And she goes crazy. И она излуди. She runs out into the city to look for her. И стучи у града тражи свој глјубину. And you done that sometimes? Јас сте видели како тоа дури. A God comes and knocks on your door. Бог порца на твоја врата. I said, well, I'm busy right now, Lord. Kaš gospode, stvarno sam za vas, nemam vremena. He says, okay, I'll catch you later. Okay, nema veze, sratiš. No! Ne! It's too late. Prekasno. Sometimes God withdraws to pull you out. Ponekad se Bog povuče da bi te izvukao. It's His grace. U svoje milosti. It's His grace. To je njegova milost. It's a token of His love. To je zalog njegove ljubavi. You know, I was with this little child. To jedno malo djete. And I said to him, I rekao sam mu, I've got a special present for you, a surprise. Imam poseban poklon za tebi za rađenje. Give it to me now. Daj mi, daj mi, daj mi sad. No. Ne. When will I get it? Kad ću dobiti? Tomorrow. Sutra. And so all day he's pulling on my leg. Can I have it now? Can I have it now? Can I have it now? Why can't I have it now? Can I have it now? I want you to say, daj mi odmah, odmah, odmah. Can I have it now? 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 No, I'm pulling him to me. No. Ja ga privlačim sve. I like it when he puts his arms around me. Ja volim kad me muči se. I love it when he looks up. Ja volim kad me muči se. Please, molim, 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 molim te. God loves being pursued. Bog voli kada idemo za njim. But he understands my weakness. Ali on razumije moju slabost. He understands my laziness. On razumije da sam ja lej. He says let me help you. I kaže daj da ti pomogu. I'll just put my scent on the handle door. Evo, ostavit ću svoj parfem na kvaki. I'll just give you a gift of hunger. I daću ti dar gladi. Now come and find me. Ajde sad, dođi da me traži. So she runs around the city looking for her lover. I ona istrči u grad da traži svog ljubljenog. Isn't this a great story? Nije li to predivna priča? This is the Bible. To je u Bibliji. Solomon's going to ask you one day, did you read my story? Solomon će te jednog dana pitati, jesi pročitao moju priču? Don't tell me you didn't read my story, it was the best one, it was a song. Kažeš da nisi pročitao tu priču, najbolja priča. I got it from Jesus, it's the song of songs. To je pjesma nad pjesmama. You didn't read my story? Nisi pročitao moju priču. And so she runs around the city looking. I ona istrči u grad, and the elders of the city find her. I starešine grada je pronađu. What are you doing out of bed? Što radiš ti ovdje ovako kasno? And they beat her up. I onda je prebiju. Ever been beaten up by elders in the church? Jesu vas starešine u crkvi nekad prebila? Not in this one, I'm sure. U ovoj crkvi nadam se da je istrači. I've been beaten up. Ja sam bivao prebiljena. Bad elders. Loše starešine. Pastors that fleece the flock. Pastori koji šišaju stan. Cut all the wool off you and then cut your skin as well. Ošišaju ti svoj vunu i onda ti još i kožu i seku. She's all back and bruised. I sad ona sva tako izudarana. And towards the end, verse 9 of Song of Songs chapter 5. Pred kraj, poglavlja 9. stih 5. glave. She meets some of her girlfriends. Ona sredne neke svoje drugarice. Now, because of her lover, she's just been beaten up. Zbog svog ljubljenog je upravo dobila batinu. And they say to, she says to them. I ona im kaže. Have you seen my lover? Jeste vidjela mog ljubljenog? I said no. A kažu ne. If you see him, ako ga vidite, give him a message. Prenesite mu poruku. Tell him. Recite mu. I'm sick with love. Sam bolesna od ljubav. See, when I got beaten up by the church, kada su, kada je mene crkva prebila, I said, well, that's it then. Ja sam rekao, a tako znači, love you anymore. Tako znači, ja tebe više neću da volim. I'm disillusioned. I'm discouraged. Ja sam razočaran. Ja sam indignant. I'm offended. Ja sam indisponiran. Ja sam uvrijeđen. And her attitude staggers her girlfriends. Njen stav začuđuje njene prijateljice. What do you mean you're lovesick? Šta ti je? Šta si ti bolesna od ljubavi? See, God is offering you this kind of love. Bog ti nudi tu vrstu ljubavi. See, I want it. Kaže, I need it out there, but I gotta get a hold of it. Ja znam da je to tu negdje, ali moram da je zgradim. I don't want to live in a fence. Ne želim da živim u uvrijeđenu. I don't want to go under the circumstances of life. Ne želim da padnem pod okolnostima života. You like that? God put that desire in you. Jel vi to osjećate? Bog je stavio tu želju u vas. Not to frustrate you. Ne da bi izazvao frustraciju u vama. But to complete you with this. Već da bi vas ispunio i savršio to u vama. So they say, how come you're lovesick when this 